1.1, section 3.4. So, what experience have you had with your interviews? Hopefully, you've had at least some and could write down some experiences, um, either in interviews or human resources. Um, so here in the summary, let's go through some of the um, answers you should have found and some of the comments you should have been making. First of all, we looked at the typical job advert in section 2.1 with the questions in 2.2. How did you find it? Interesting? Difficult? Well, this is the beginning, so hopefully not. Let's take a look at the answers you should have found. Section 2.2, question one, the answer was B. What was being offered was a work position or a job. We started off with an easy one, I think. Question two, answer A. You needed to have excellent IT skills, and that was in the paragraph, and office management experience, and that was in the bullet points. Hopefully you found those easily. Question three regarding salary. The answer is B, £26,517 per annum, or to be clear, per year. Don't get confused with D, 26517 per month. If the salary was that amount, around a million NT per month, I would be there and not here. Easy one, I think. Answer A, per year. When we say per annum, we think of words like annual, or annually, or anniversary. All these words begin with A double N, and they mean once a year. Question five, again, was answer A. It was a full-time, permanent, administrative job. Hopefully you found those easy. Let's move on to section 2.2. Okay, my mistake there. That's section 2.2 over. It should have been easy, the opening section, but let's move on to section 2.3 and 2.4 and see how you went on with those questions. Now, these questions are based on how much you understand from the reading of a passage. Slightly harder than looking at a web page, I think. Let's take a look at the answers. Question one, answer A, a summary of the job's responsibilities, as well as a list of the key duties that will be performed. Answer two, B, they were looking for industry familiarity and job knowledge. Question three, answer C, an easy one, I think, just to have good fun manners and be a good listener. Question four, answer C, your work style is all about the way you like to work, in a team or alone. This is important if you are part of a team. It's no good being a team player if you prefer to fly solo. Question five, answer D. Simple, in the interview. The way candidates answer their questions is almost as important as what they say. Okay, that's the questions one to five out of the way. Now, I won't go through the list of words that you've put together. I trust you know how to use Google and a good dictionary. That said, it might be a good idea for you to put together a few sentences, say one for each word you've looked up. On the next session, I guess you've noticed but the words in exercise 3.1 form the answers for exercise 3.2. So, on to section 3.3, the TOEIC style questions. Hopefully you see these are like the reading section six or seven, where you are given a document to read and understand. What we see here is a letter. 
question one? The answer was B, sports and recreation director. We see this at the top of the letter in Mr. Green's name and the address section. Question two, answer A. The address we're looking for is 17A Duval Heights. We see this in Mrs. Wade's address section. These two questions should, I hope, be easy, but don't rush them. I always say RTFQ, read the full question. Don't jump in, you could make an easy mistake. Question three, the answer was C, senior tennis trainer. Now we found this in paragraph one of the main body of the letter. Question four, the answer was B, a document outlining your salary and benefits. Finally, question five, B, we had to sign the attached letter and return it within five days. Now, section four is a glossary of the words used in this lesson. Section four in all the lessons will always be a glossary. Please use this for your reference. And remember, these words are all underlined and italicized in the lesson itself. So, if you see the word underlined and leaning over slightly, then you know that the meaning of that word is in the glossary at the back of the lesson. Okay, that concludes lesson 1.1. I hope you enjoyed the questions and find them useful for your onward studies and your future careers.